Hey, what's up, PSA group? Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Scott. I've um, been in the group for a little while. Um, just got my first PSA sub back today from Timothy Knoll, and I just want to give a big thanks to Tim for doing that. Um, the group sub is a great way to for people like me who are pretty new to PSA um, just to kind of get go through the process and uh, and whatnot. So I just want to say thanks again to Tim. Um, so I guess what I'll do is just go through some of the cards and some of the grades I got. Um, starting off, uh, we have a 2014 Topps Inception, Devontae Adams, Rookie Auto. Um, got a mid 9 on that, that's pretty cool. Twenty thirteen tops tribute Jonathan Lucroy World Baseball Classic also got a mint nine. Twenty thirteen tops triple threads Willie Peralta Unity Auto Jumbo Relic that actually got a ten which is pretty cool. I imagine it's kind of hard to get tens on these jersey type cards so I'll take a ten on that. Uh, and this one right here uh, only got a six. I think that was be. I could tell there the, some of the corners were not what they should be. Um, I just kind of wanted to encapsulate this card. I knew it wasn't going to get that high of a grade. Um, but uh, huge, huge Packers fan, Brewers, Bucks, pretty much any Wisconsin sports team. So had to get the Devonte Adams exquisite. Um, still a pretty cool card, even though it got a six. Um, Carlos Gomez, Panini Immaculate Ink, Gold Ink, uh, numbered out of 99. Uh, that got an, uh, an 8. Uh, 2012 Prime Signatures. Uh, it was a Randall Cobb Silver Signature. Got a Gem Mint 10. That's pretty cool. Another one of those World Baseball Classic cards from 2013 Tops Tribute. Uh, Giovanni Gallardo Auto. That got a 10. Uh, Devontae Adams again. 2014 SPX Auto. Jersey Red. That got an 8. Um, 2014 Leaf Metal Draft, Haha ha Clinton Dix, uh, Autograph, uh, Prismatic, I believe, on the Leaf Metal. Um, that got a 10, so that's pretty cool. Oh, here's kind of a cool card. It's a 2014 Panini Score, Haha ha Clinton Dix, Hot Rookies, Auto Black. Uh, and that one got a 10, too. Very happy with that. And what are these numbered to? Ah, oh, there we go. 14 out of 15 only. Uh, 2014 Tops. Haha, ha, Clinton Dix Auto. That one got an 8. Uh, then I did get a bunch of these uh, 2014 Upper Decks autographs. Um, Redemptions from the Packers. They're uh, SSP, Super Short Prints. Uh, this one is 7 out of only 10. Uh, and they're in their college uniforms. Um, I love players in their college uniforms. I don't know why. I'm, just, I'm a huge fan of it. So um, any chance I can get to get these upper deck cards, I'm a huge fan of those. Uh, Richard Rogers. That one got a mid 9. And we've got uh, Haha Clinton Dix. Uh, sacking Johnny, Johnny Football there. Um, that one got a mint nine as well. That one's also that one's number nine out of ten. Uh, Jared Abradaris, twenty fourteen upper deck again. This one got an eight. Number seven out of ten. Here's a uh, Jeff Janis, number 10 out of 10, I believe. Yep, 10 out of 10. There it is. I couldn't find it. 10 out of 10. 
And we got a couple of uh, Wisconsin Badgers here. James White. That one's numbered 10 out of 10. Plays for the Patriots. And the guy who retired from the 49ers, Chris Borland, still an awesome player, was a great player at Wisconsin. Um, he did get a 10 out of 10 as well. Or, uh, excuse me, a gem in 10. Very cool. Oh, what do we have here? A.J. Hawk, 2006 Bowman Chrome, uh, rookie auto. That got a mint 9. That's one of those cards I just bought raw on eBay and submitted it. Pretty happy with a 9. AJ Hawk plays for the Bengals now. Um, I did submit a couple Aaron Rodgers cards here. 2005 Upper Deck Legends Aaron Rodgers. Uh, that one's numbered out of 725. Uh, that got a mint 9. Uh, we have a Chris Borland. Again, rookies and stars. Gold signature, 8.5. Aaron Rodgers, 2005 Upper Deck. That's got a gem in 10. That's another one of those cards I bought raw off eBay. Submitted it. Got a 10. Can't go wrong there. Um, Devontae Adams, SSP, Upper Deck Redemption, 9 out of 10. That one got a 10. Twenty twelve Panini Contenders, Casey Hayward, Green Jersey Auto. Got a 10, gem in 10. Um, then I submitted a couple, uh, couple Bucks cards here. Uh, this is a really cool card here. Jabari Parker, Panini Intrigue. 2013, uh, it's a 2014 draft exchange card. Redemption. Um, that got a gem in 10. Very cool card. And then I'm a, I'm a big fan, a big fan of the Panini Prism, so I'm kind of trying to put together a little Jabari Parker set here. Um, there's the Freshman Phenoms that got a 10, and also, uh, Jabari Parker Rookie Prism that got a 10. Happy with those. And then the last few cards here. Um, also out of the Upper Deck SSP Redemptions. This is a Odell Beckham Jr. I picked up. 8 out of 10. Uh, that got a mid 9. Very cool card. And with that, I also have the Upper Deck Black and White Glossy. That one's number 3 out of 10. That one only got a 7, and I think that had a ding corner somewhere, if you look right. Right there in the upper left-hand corner. I don't know if that's the reason I got a 7, but still happy with just encapsulating the card. They're kind of hard to find. And we got a... Uh, Jabari Parker, Panini Prism, purple. That's uh, got a mid nine. Happy with that. That's the first card I got on a break ever. So I guess it has sentimental value to me. And then a black and white uh, glossy of Eddie Lacy, numbered one out of 10 from 2013. That's his rookie year. That got an eight. Apparently these black and white glossies, um, I think maybe down Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there is some kind of some a uh, little bit almost like chipping down by the black part there in the lower left hand corner. There could be a reason why it got downgraded to an eight. Uh, and this is one of the cooler cards I got back. Um, Eddie Lacy, uh, numbered two out of fifteen star rookies. Uh, SSP uh, got a ten. Very cool. And the last card, uh, kind of cool, uh, 1950 Bowman, Tony Canadeo rookie card for the Packers. Um, that one got a 6. 
Um, I actually picked this one up pretty cheap and submitted it, hoping it wasn't trimmed or something. And came back a 6, which is a pretty good grade for that. Um, there are no 10s in the 1950 Bowman. Uh, I think there's only like two nines of Tony Candideo, uh and like 20 some eights. So a six is pretty good. Real tough to get a high grade. Very happy with that. Um, so that's about it, I guess. Um, thanks for watching. Um, having a lot of fun with the group. Um, you can leave some comments below if you'd like. Um, otherwise, hope you guys have a great night and have fun collecting.